Uh, to break it all down, we have with us Editor-in-Chief at National Memo, Joe Connison, and joining us is the President of the American Principles Project, Terry Schilling. Gentlemen, welcome to Wake Up America Weekend. Thank you for being with us this morning. Joe, uh, among the claims that President Biden made in his campaign speech, which was about the unemployment rates being at historic lows, let's quickly listen to his words. Unemployment at 50-year lows. A record 16 million Americans are starting small businesses, and each one is a literal act of hope. So, at 3.9% in February, it's been low in the past year alone, uh, not to mention for at least nine months during the Trump administration pre-pandemic in 2020, according to CNN. So uh, is he stretching the truth a little bit here? What does he mean by record low? There are a lot of ways to slice up the numbers. Uh, in fact, we've been below 4%, which is usually considered by economists to be full employment, for almost 25 months. So that is a record uh, that dates back, you know, many, many years. I mean, it's been since the 1960s that unemployment has been that low for that long. And I think, you know, from that point of view, he's perfectly right to claim that record. Fair enough. All right, Terry, something the president didn't take credit for was the record number of job cuts hitting the nation. Uh, according to data from Challenger, Gray, and I believe that says Christmas, um, plan, I'm, I'm sorry, 84,638 job yeah. cuts in February, up 3% from January, and jumping 9% from the same time last year, with major losses hitting the tech, retail, education, and finance sectors. Why are we seeing these mass layoffs? And isn't the job market booming under Biden? <laughs> no, that's exactly right. And, and, and frankly, those numbers, this is the worst February that we've had in America since 2009. Right? That was right after the financial collapse. I think, you know, it's fine to talk about what you want to do with this economy. But what I really loathe, what I really can't stand is just the constant lies and propaganda to make us all think that this is the greatest economy we've ever had. This economy sucks. I have an employee that works for me that just bought a townhome in this area for over 600000 at 7% interest rates. That's not sustainable. This is We are building an economy that our kids won't be able to afford, and they won't be able to find good-paying jobs because we, because we pushed everyone into college degrees, and now that market's oversaturated. That's what's, what's, what's happening. If you read CNBC and the financial markets and the news outlets there, they are talking about, they're using words like persistent waves of layoffs, right? This is not a sign for optimism. There's a sign for pessimism in this country. We need to turn things around and that won't change unless these guys stop lying to us constantly. Joe, the president uh, also had a, quite a bit to say as well. Um, as, as we just mentioned uh, there, uh, Terry just mentioned the low, the, the inflation rates and um, the layoffs. And the, yeah. But how it, how he's lowered he was talking about how he's lowered inflation has brought back the jobs to america but we're seeing these cuts let's quickly listen to what he said and then we'll talk about it after wages keep going up inflation keeps coming down inflation has dropped from nine percent to three percent the lowest in the world and tending lower <laughs> the landing is and will be soft and now, instead of importing, importing foreign products and exporting American jobs, we're exporting American products and creating American jobs right here in America, where they belong. So, um, according to data, inflation rose by 0.3% in January and prices of items rose 3.1% uh, in 2023. This is everything from uh, gas to groceries, the, you know, household items that are getting more expensive. Where is the disconnect here? Well, it, it's depend if you pick a monthly number, then it, it may show an uptick. Uh, over time, the president is right that the inflation uh, rate has definitely come down in the past year, and it keeps coming down. And compared to other countries, it's been much lower the whole time. Uh, you know, the other countries also have suffered much higher unemployment than we have. 
Uh, so you take a country like Italy, which is probably the only country that has a lower inflation rate than the United States right now, and it has twice as much unemployment. I mean, there's, there's, everybody knows there's, there is a balance between, you know, how you uh, manage employment, how you manage the rest of the economy, what the target is for inflation. And, you know, it's wrong to pretend otherwise. The fact is, uh, as the president said, we've had a soft landing when many people, many economists and many others were predicting we would have a severe recession right now. We're not in that. And to that extent, having managed the emergence from the pandemic, uh, you know, I think it's fair for him to claim that he's done better than other people predicted he would. Well, I'm just glad T that we're not in a full recession. Terry, let me give you the last word, the last 30 be. seconds should to be you. very glad. Um, Joe, Joe was saying that Italy has a lower inflation rate than us, but our president at the State of the Union said we have the lowest in the, in the world. Um, just 20, 30 yes, seconds. He wrap exaggerated it up. that by one country. We, we, well, we, 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 we are the, the we do have the dollar, which is the you know the reserve currency, right? So that that helps offset things. But listen, what are we talking about? He's talking about the inflation rate, which is the rate that prices are growing. That didn't, that means the prices are continuing to increase after they were had record high increases, right? So a nine percent inflation last year, it's down to only growing three percent this year. That means our prices are still going we, up. We should, the problem isn't going away. We and inflation. we need to address this, right? So, Fair listen, this, they can keep trying to lie to us, but the American people are going to see through Gentlemen, it in November. Gentlemen, I'm, I'm sorry. <laughs> Joe, we know you wanted to come back and we could have let you guys talk to each other yeah. for a little bit more than it would have been very interesting, but we're out of time. We have to go to a break now. Uh, Joe Connison and Terry Schilling, thank you very much for joining us this morning. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.